So guys, right, looking at this release, it really does fool people when we're looking at uh, the movement through the ball. People believing that uh, when they're seeing this, this move here, and we're seeing these fingers, that there's been some tremendous rolling release. But in actual fact, it's not what we're seeing with the club players, actually. There's this arm breaks down. This wrist actually remains quite stable. It's a slightly into extension, but when we see through the ball, my lead wrist moves more into extension. We see what happens to the elbow and then we start to get a position that looks a little bit more natural or a little bit more dynamic and the speed of the club picks up here. So this lead wrist moving into extension is actually the correct thing to do. So guys, right, moving through the golf ball, don't be afraid to get this lead wrist to move into extension. It's a great way to pick up speed. It's a great way to really lower your through swing plane. And it helps so many people loosen up their swings coming down, getting into impact, but then straight after impact, really getting that lead wrist to move into extension. And it's one side belongs to the other. You know, working, chipping away at these positions. You know, I like to really look through the golf ball here and see that lead wrist in practice swings right up to 45 to 50 degrees, you know, and you can really get some great feedback here when you're looking at, you don't have to be, when you're looking at technique, it's, it's you're being technical, but you're not being mechanical. It's actually supplying feels and feedback and getting yourself in great positions. Lead wrist extension through the ball. We're still getting 12 degrees of shaft lean, but we're getting our hands to move much more effectively, picking up your speed. So much speed, much more speed comes from your arms, your hands, and your wrists. This is the secret really to creating a great swing, and you chip away at these positions. All right, let's get further on into the video, guys, and this, some of this stuff is really gonna help if you stay long-term, you're really gonna reach your potential and your goals. So people, right, let's have a look at uh, a fascinating disguised release here that uh, is really fooling so many people out there. Have a look at Nelly Corder from driving, all around driving statistics, one of the best in the world. Look how close these wrists and hands are together. Now we're going to have a look at some amateur golfers and some great drills coming up, but I just want to prove a point here. Many amateurs thinking that the release is done by the body you know, really it's the ability to get the club head to be able to pass the body and pass the hands, which is going to pick up your speed, but also allow you to hang on to some incredible angles coming down. The ability to square up the club head. Now, where it does become a little bit deceptive, and I'll just you know, slide this video over here and you can have a look at Adam Scott. Before we have a look at some other great players and amateurs, let's have a look at uh, this deceptive release. Right? Because it's not all released by your body and it's not people sometimes think it's some sort of old school thing but we can definitely see that the club is released and you can see that you can see the fingers of the glove hand here through the board and when we just scroll it back just a touch you can see that the club head's turning over but it's only turning over a certain amount it's squaring up the face and you can see that the hands there definitely an underneath style release so let's have a look at uh, some of the great plays. This is just a great drill feel, get yourself into this position. Now let's go through a couple of plays. We've got Grant Waite. Right, let's have a look at Rory McIlroy. Now this is just your standard type of release. It's very, very deceptive. Moving on into Jack Nicholas, the greatest player, most majors of all time. You can see that the hands there have crossed over. Ben Hogan. Now we're looking at Oosthuizen. And what's interesting with this picture from Oosthuizen, there's the front view. Let's have a look at the back view. Isn't that deceptive? Look at that lead wrist, the grip end pointing down. And one of the things they're able to do is to get the end of the grip to point towards the target before it gets behind the head. Remember I said that. Let's have a look at uh, Tiger Woods. What about Colin Morikawa? Dodge Kemmer from the Asian Tour. The list goes on. Now let's have a look at some club golfers. Right, we see the amateurs here, elbows splaying. And the ability, what we can see is the end of the grip will point downwards. It's The club head is moving at the same speed as the body here. We need that to move twice as fast. Let's have a look at another couple of players. But they're really struggling to get the end of the grip. Lead wrist is not moving into extension. And really pretty much what we're seeing is the same pattern over and over. Now, I'm not expecting people to swing like Adam Scott at Ooze Toys, but I am expecting people to improve. This wooden style release and in the belief that the hands are very passive, is really hurting a lot of golfers 
out there. Now we're going to take a look at some great drills and some great exercises coming up, guys. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. That really does help us reach more people. What class golf instruction? We're reaching more and more people and uh, improving a lot of golf as well with the Swing Analyst online training. You can reach out to me. I'm training people all over the world. Right, guys, let's get it stuck into some drills and some feels to slowly improve our release and get on the path to playing some better. So guys, right, front end therapy. Let's have a look at uh, a really interesting drill where we start on this side, swing back to create certain sensations, to imitate certain positions so that we can gather certain feels that we normally wouldn't have. Now this is an important part. When we're looking at great players, people swinging and striking the ball really, really well, it's important to have a look at what they're doing and then get in there and say, well, what's he doing? How does he do it? Let's get into that position firstly and work our way back. All right, now, when we look at this lead hand, you know, moving back in the backswing and, and really moving then into a little bit of flexion, just slightly exaggerating the position, it's almost like slapping someone in the face. <laughs> it's almost like slapping something here. And then through the ball, we're not flipping it, but we need to be able to get this lead wrist to move up into extension. This side belongs to this side, right? It's one motion and it's moving really fast. So to get the shaft lean and to get ourselves moving the hands and the wrists, you know, they're gonna be rotating and pronating and all those things. We wanna have a look at it in a simple way. Simply by going through these positions, you will create awareness. And if you practice them a little bit, you'll start to develop certain feels and all of a sudden, we start to improve our game by 5%, 9%, 12%, 15%. And the, the goal is, is reaching your potential. You know, so anything that you can pick up from something like this is, is really important for, you, for your own game. Front end therapy. We're swinging through and the arms are parallel to the ground. Okay, I've got my lead shoulder up. I've got the, the right knee moving in and the left wrist is in extension. I'll do it from this side here where we can see, very important I think here for the average golfer to get the club up to 12 o'clock with the clock over the face and the toe of the club pointing up. That's gonna get the club to release a little bit more freely. We're looking at the uh, advanced player coming up, but really by getting ourselves into that position there, you can see that lead wrist, you can see the right wrist is almost in this position. And from here we work our way back, all right, by curating this sort of lead wrist extension and then back up, we're gonna be getting you know, some movement in this lead wrist. You have to be able to imitate some positions to create your own sensations. So people, swing analyst lessons, Craig Hansen, worldclassgolf.com, right? You're looking at around 15 to 30 minutes of a swing, of a swing analyst. Uh, you've got WhatsApp contact or private contact with me. You can Zoom call, Skype call. There's tailored drills and exercises. Don't try and do it by yourself. I'm improving people from all around the world. Get a higher level of instruction at a cheaper price. Reach out to me personally. I can coach you. Let's get stuck into it together. Now you can do plenty of practice swings from here. Getting yourself up into this position and just working your way back. Slowly back up and just feeling what your hands and your wrists are doing. Watching your hands and wrists. Knowing that this lead wrist is moving slightly in to flexion here. And moving through the golf ball up to 12 o'clock and then through. And then you can just sort of get in there and perhaps give one a hit. Let's sort of see where those positions are and get a little bit of flow and movement and move your hands and your wrists really like a great player. Get in there and do it yourself. Pick up your own feels, pick up your own sensations. Front end therapy, guys. Getting through this position, seeing these three fingers, lead wrist into extension, copying this type of shape, this type of position in mirrors, filming it with your mobile phones, and running back and through, and in time you will improve your ball striking. Guys, let's now have a look at the advanced player, what the advanced player can feel through the ball. It's really, really interesting. Right guys, the advanced players looking at the release here through the ball, keeping the heel of the club up for the right hander, hitting your missed shots more on the right side of the flag rather than the left. Left shots tend to go long, a lot more putts from left to right. Generally speaking, most people are putting better from 
when we're looking at right to left putts. So, you know, moving through the golf ball, big visual pictures, logo points up. We're looking at really for most of the advanced players hitting your mid to high irons, heel of the club pointing up. And this is a great way to keep your body in the right position. If you're using like the V1 pressure matter for your on force plates, it's quite amazing looking at what your feet does, your weight does, the position of your shoulders when you're controlling your club head. It has a massive chain reaction. So this is a really a great way. The other way to look at, at a drill here through the golf ball is really preventing the club from getting behind your hands too quickly. You know, you're trying to keep that heel up, you're trying to get that that logo of your glove. You can keep some side bend, you can keep some neck tilt, and this will keep this left side extending and moving up. This is a great place for advanced players to propel golf balls consistently down the line and prevent them you know, heading out to the left, especially under pressure. So guys, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be releasing a lot more stuff, worldclassgolf.com with Dr. Robert J. Neal.